In our family, whoever was deemed to have done the worst mime in the Christmas game of charades had to stand up and have their finger nibbled by our pet tortoise. <laughs> David Steen, what was the tortoise called? Aldwinkle. Why was he called Aldwinkle? Because that was the name of the place we got him, the village of Aldwinkle. How did it start? It must have been my father. It has his stamp upon it. I don't really remember. It was just something we always did, and it seemed perfectly normal to us. What was it about your father's finger? It wasn't my father's finger. It is... <laughs> He rather liked the sort of traditional aspects of Christmas and, uh, and liked to follow these things. Well, that's not one of them. <laughs> well, that's an invention. I mean, there are other already. There are some off-the-shelf traditions you could have used. Yeah. Well, I think a little... Pies, carols, oh. uh, turkey or goose, that kind of thing. He was sprinkled with a little artificial snow to make him seasonal, but nonetheless, that's <laughs> what we did. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a great time of year for Aldwinkle. I think he was probably bewildered by the entire process, but nonetheless, that was what we did. Of course, as I'd forgotten, but you've reminded me, they hibernate. Well... <laughs> <laughs> that's, exactly, that's exactly true, but hibernation can be an interrupted affair. Ooh. But... I hope you got your information right, yeah? No, they don't, but there's all the kids at home. Wake up the tortoise, it's fine! The Reverend Richard Carlson... Yeah. Let's go and dig up Nam! I will... <laughs> I will concede, Aldwinkle was not at his liveliest. He was a bit more vital, I have to say, vigorous in the summer months. Well, this is the thing that worries me, because I think waking a tortoise... I mean, can you wake why, yeah. Waking any animal from hibernation can cause uh, problems, so let's not do that, kids, uh, whether this is truth or a lie. <laughs> OK, but, but the, the actual ceremony, so, so you've played charades... So there would always be somebody who did... Uh, Papillon, there would always be somebody who did the taking of... We did the same... You know, it's ritualised, that stuff, and anyway... Oh, so, sorry, the, the same... You did the same films every year? Yeah, yeah, sort of, yeah. You're really into ceremony, <laughs> aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> we will now mime the taking of Pelham 1, 2, 3. <laughs> <laughs> How was it decided who'd lost at Shira? How did you do the scoring of Shira? It was Shira's? usually by the kind of tutting and sighing, the, the amount of tutting and sighing, uh, right. and also by the length of time it took to guess the four films that we did every year. OK. <laughs> <laughs> and what were the other two? <laughs> Papillon, <laughs> Taking of Pelham, Papillon, 1, 2, 3. The Taking of Pelham, 1, 2, 3. <laughs> yeah. The Sound of the Music and Towering Inferno. I've not seen The Sound of the Music. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's, that sounds less positive yeah. about the music. No, that's the... the Sound of the Music is keeping everyone awake. <laughs> OK, so, uh, David's team. Kerry, what are you thinking? I, I, I think it's got to be a lie, hasn't it? Richard has a very honest face, doesn't he? You see, well, you can, it's interesting about Richard, because that clothing he's wearing... Yeah. ..that only two sorts of people wear that, vicars and confidence tricksters. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know which one he is yet. You think there's a difference? <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking, Harry? <laughs> Satire. I'm oh, satire. Well, <laughs> I think because of the... The hibernation problem, I think it has to be a lie. What about you, though, David? What I think, what I always think, is it could be either. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because, of course, it sounds unlikely, but at the same time, that's exactly the kind of true thing they would pick. Yes. If, he, if he just said, at Christmas, we would have mince pies. Yes. Then you go, well, that sounds true. Yes, true. What a merry show that would be. <laughs> but no, they've got to pick something that's either a lie or a true thing that might as well be a lie because it's so unlikely. <laughs> And it's finding that distinction <laughs> that apparently is the point of this section of my life. <laughs> <laughs>